गुड आफ्टरनून फ्रेंड्स दिस इज हितेश फ्रॉम फानूप किलकस पैथन अकेडमी सो हियर आई एम बैक विथ सम अनादर वीडियो विच इज़ इन पैथन रिलेटेड टू स्ट्रिंग लिस्ट एंड लिस्ट कॉम्प्रीहेंशन ओके सो लेट सी वॉट इज द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट सो बेसिकली the problem statement is behind the problem statement the main motto is we have to find out the middle item or middle element in from the list okay so let's see what is the problem statement here a sorted list of integer is given to us okay so we have to print the middle item or middle integer from that list okay and we have to assume the integer is always or yeah we have to keep it integer list of item is always odd okay suppose user has provided this number which is in list form that is 2 3 4 8 11 11 so we have to print the middle element that is 4 okay so see here length of this list is how many 5 that means they are number of integer is odd so we have to keep while in entering the input we have to keep it mind all the inputs in the list are should be odd okay so let's see what we have to do yeah one more thing one condition is also there the min maximum number of input for any test should not exceed than 9 that means you have, you have if you have provided less than 9 or less than equal to 9 element in the list that should be acceptable but apart from that if you are providing greater than 9 elements so you have to print too many inputs okay and one more hint is there which is helpful for you we have to first read the data into the list okay then based on that list size we have to find out the middle element or middle atom okay let's see how is things going on okay okay so here we are de declaring one variable as a user input which are accepting input from the user in the form of string okay so based on that user input we are applying split function which with the help of split function we can convert that string variable as a user input into list that means whatever input we are providing with the help of split function that should be convertible convertible into the list so that list should be assigned to this token variable okay then on the next line here we are using a list comprehension as you know if the list comprehension is a way to write a loop within the list in one line okay so base see why why are the use why we are using here list comprehension first let's understand see whenever we under uh, getting input from the user it is in a form of string as you know if you are accepting input by default any by default value is value of type is always string so we have to convert each and every element of the list that is token we have to convert each and every element of the token in a form of list that should be convertible into the integer form that's why we are here using list comprehension that means from list suppose i am entering 1 2 3 4 5 okay so one by one element is came into this looping variable a and it should be each and every element of the list should be converted into the integer type and that should be assigned to this data set variable okay next here we are calculating the what how many elements should be stored in data set variable by using length function that should be assigned to number of values list value variable okay if you remember we have to get only we have to take only nine or less than nine element okay suppose by mistakenly if user has enter more than nine elements so we have to print the message as a too many inputs okay this is if part okay apart from that else part should be execute when the else part will execute if the number of value is less than and equal to 9 then else control will shift to the else part okay so what is we are going to do here 
whatever how whatever element are there that should be floor division by 2 okay suppose i had entered 2 3 4 8 11 okay so from that we will get as a list of item by using length function is 5 so here we will get number of value which will store the length of element that is 5 5 floor division 2 you will get 2.5 but but we are here we are using floor division that's why we will get 2 it will always choose lowest value okay so 2.5 is lies between 2 and 3 so by using with the help of floor division we will get the mid index value is 2 okay so it will get the data sets of index values 2 from that we will get 4 data sets of 0 which holding 2 data sets of 1 which holding 3 data set of 2 which will get 2 so for that 4 is a middle element from this list let's see how things are going on by running this block of code okay so suppose i am entering here 2 3 4 5 6 7 you have to keep in mind all whatever input you are providing that is in number of elements should be odd only okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 that's it so how many elements are there here six elements are that is even so for that we are providing as a 8 so now odd elements are there number of odd elements are there seven elements are there yeah see we will get as a middle element that is five so in the series of this element five fifth five is a middle element which is at index three okay if you keep in mind zero one two three four five six so middle element is 5 okay if you have any doubt do comment us do subscribe like and share this channel thank you